I was at my university's campus and for some reason the stars were very like um, brighter than usual like you could see them very well and then all of a sudden the stars I was looking up um, they changed into UFOs or, or what looked like UFOs because they weren't real UFOs they were just like they were like extraterrestrial objects or something it was or on a it was like government made government government made um, aircraft that looked like UFOs basically and as I was looking at them as they changed into as the stars changed into these UFOs they were like lining up um, going like flying around and a big it was at the center of my university campus basically by a library and um, a big crowd actually gathered and people were looking at them and then I'm like and I was telling people I'm like these are not UFOs these are just governments this is the this is the government decepting you this only means the rapture is around the corner if the government has already started decepting us they're showing us UFOs this only means the rapture is around the corner and I had um I had my friend with me and I was like bro the rapture is gonna happen any second you need to repent of all your sins so you can get saved I told him he wasn't really listening he was just looking at the UFOs and then there was these two other guys both of them were like they, they were both like heavily tattooed like heavy metal guys I'm like hey guys the government's decepting us with these UFOs you need to immediately repent the rapture is gonna happen any second and they didn't really listen to me they were just staring at the UFOs or like yeah basically and I was telling him this UFO is, a, is gonna be a cover up you can see him now they're gonna use this to cover up right after the rapture really no one listened to me and then all of a sudden um if you guys seen the movie this is the end it's like an apocalyptic movie of how like a light um a light comes and saves some people during certain points of the movie so basically um there was a big crowd and a and this bright blue light came came down right on me and basically um took me to heaven basically and there was a big crowd and this was the rapture i'm like guys the rapture is happening right now i'm being taken up man they were like, no, no, that's not the rapture. That's the UFOs taking you. They're abducting you. I'm like, what? This is the rapture. I'm going to heaven right now. And there was a big crowd of like 200 people. And I only saw three other rides, lights. So in the big crowd of 200 people, there's only two or three other people were were getting raptured. So yeah, this through this dream, God's obviously telling me that um, after the rapture, the government's going to show you guys UFOs, maybe demons, and they're going to say, oh, the UFOs, the UFOs abducted these um, crazy Christians. They were a hindrance. So, And a lot of people are going to fall for this lie because a lot of Christians, sadly, are going to get left behind. So they'll be like, oh, if it was a rapture, how come all these Christians got left behind? And yeah, make sure you don't get left behind. You don't want to go through the seven years of tribulation on there. You don't want to be fooled by the government. And so, yeah. After the dream, I went to heaven. I basically saw some other stuff in heaven dealing with my family members. So, it's not really important to share it in this video, basically. So, yeah. If you get left behind after and, and, and through this dream, God's not telling me, oh, I'm going to be raptured. Everybody's going to left behind. I don't even know if I'm going to, I don't even know if I'm yet worthy enough to be raptured. I just pray to God that he finds me worthy to be raptured. So yeah, the, the rapture can happen any second. You need to repent all your of all your sin, sins. You need to clean your heart. You need to turn to Jesus Christ. You need to pray to him every day. And you need to pray for your family members, enemies, strangers, friends, anyone. So they can all be saved and not not get left behind during the tribulation and fall for the government's lies also in the description box of this video i wrote a message i've been printing printing that out and posting it around my campus do whatever you can if you got a texted email you print it out remember in heaven once you get to heaven you're re you're rewarded on the works you did in this life so as much work you do for God's uh, as much you, work you do for God and as much as you get the message across God is only going to further reward you so don't be a don't be a lazy servant of God do whatever you can to spread the message I already glory to God man I already wrote the message all you got to do is share it that's I already did the hard part basically and also all glory to God because all glory belongs to him thanks for listening